Welcome back to Twinkle Tips Fridays. And here at Pixel Pro Displays, we have a lot of things going on. It has been crazy busy, and I'm sorry for not getting a video out to you guys last week. Um, but if you were paying attention on YouTube, you would see we, we, we released uh, a significant number of songs last week. So uh, if you're in the market for any kind of sequences, feel free to check the links out below. There's a bunch of new songs. We just added five or six, seven new songs to the website. I mean, it's growing, guys. It's absolutely growing. And it's the Halloween season, so go pick up some sequences at pixelprodisplays.com. Um, so what I want to do today is something uh, kind of piggybacking off of what happened on Tuesday night during our open mic night session in our Zoom room. I want to share this tip with everybody who didn't get to come to our Tuesday night meeting. And uh, so you have a little bit of uh, heads up on a very simple, very fun and easy project that you can complete yourself this season because it's super easy to do this. Stay tuned. Let's get right to it. Let's say you want to add a prop in to your show this year that's super easy to build, easy to put into X lights, easy for you to DIY. You can figure some of this stuff out on your own. Like the build side, I'm I can't I'm not gonna tell you how to build it and set it up in your show. Many of you are already um uh, ambitious enough and and uh, constructive enough that you can figure that out on your own. I just want to put the idea in your head. Plant the seed of knowledge on how you can put this into X-Lights and the ways that you could add it in and could be a really big impact for your show. And it's very cheap. Very, very cheap. Very cheap. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The spinner model, which is a very underused model in X-Lights, can be very, very helpful whenever you want to create something simple as, as such as a firework, we'll say. So check this out. If we go to the spinner, we add the spinner. Let's say we have five strings, five strings of pixels, okay? Five strings of pixels. Let's say there is one arm per string. Let's go back to our five arms there. And then let's say there is 50 pixels per arm. So that's one string of pixels, a string of 50 pixels in an arm. Okay, we can all afford that. I think we can. Well, I mean, that's probably like 100 bucks in pixels, maybe a little more. You might even have that many just sitting around in a box not doing anything. I mean, for goodness sakes, you probably have enough just to pull this off, right? Now, there's this next section that we'll call the hollow percent. I'm going to take this down to number three. What this does is that kind of blurs out the center there, kind of shrinks it down so everything's like nice and close and tight in the center. And then we have this thing called arc. Well, at arc 360, that's the total degrees that's stretched out around it. But what I found out by watching what Rob was doing the other day, I found out that if I set my arc at a specific number, and let's start at like 35. What do you say? We'll change this to 35. Oh, I put 36. And look at that. Now, that looks like what? It looks like a little fan. It looks like a little tiny fan. But this is where it gets interesting. Look. If we make this bigger, look how much longer it can be. Now, this is the downside to using this specific model. And sure, there are other ways to do this. But I want to share with you not just about this firework model, this super easy model that you could build, but also how the spinner model works in x lights and something that maybe you want to play around with, right? Let's get right into another thing that we have that's called a starting angle. Well, the starting angle, if we change it one way or the other look we can we can whip it around instead of having to grab this arm here and twist this around and to change it what we can do is we can use this arc the starting angle and i'm going to change this to 157. so whoop, how about a little more 58 59 60 61 there, there we go look at that looks like firework coming right up from out of the ground. Look at that. So this could be sitting on the ground and you've got 50 pixels here going straight up. You can make this as tall as you want. And it, I mean, if you want to go with one inch spacing, that's only what, um, you know, 50 inches. I mean, that's, that's only like four foot tall or so, just a little over four foot. So you've got yourself something very simple and easy that you can put together in X lights. Well, what about what about if you wanted to do a couple of these? So maybe you wanted one big firework and maybe you could put two other small ones off to the side. So we can do that too by just using the spinner model again. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll we'll go ahead and we'll use we'll use less strings this time. Arms per string will say five arms. 
let's say that we have 25 pixels per arm. And now if we go back in and we give the hollow percent, let's go down to two. And then let's do this at, I don't know, um, the arc would be at 35 again, I think. Yeah. Let's go ahead and set the start angle at, like, let's say 210. I don't know. We'll see where that ends up. And what we have here is you have another piece that you can put right over here. If you want to make that bigger, stretch it out. And you can customize this by actually making the arc a little bit smaller. Maybe it's only, I don't know, uh, maybe this arc is only like 20. Maybe it's a little closer, maybe it's a tighter one. And what if we copy this, you can you can copy a model, just take, take select the model and you can hit Control C and then Control V to paste your model. Now, what most people are gonna wanna do, they're wanna, gonna wanna grab the handle here and then spin it so that it's the right way, but we don't actually want to do that. We want to, change this so let's say 110 maybe 110 is a good uh number maybe maybe a little bit more maybe we'll just use the visual thing here to kind of bring it up to where the other one is so here you've got three different models that you can utilize to do some effects in x lights and to come out and have this very simple prop i mean look at this this model has a whopping uh 125 pixels this one has 125 pixels, and this one has 100, uh, 250. I mean, most people, most people are ordering 500 pixels like at, at the drop of a hat nowadays. So if you have spare pixels sitting around, this is a great idea, something that you could go through and start playing around with. All right, guys, I just wanted to share this with you. I'm not going to play the audio, but I'll show you the programming. Uh, this is uh, Fallout Boys. So you can pick up the sequence up above here. I'll uh, add a link to it. Uh, but this is a perfect example of what these fireworks can do. I've All I did was I mapped from our PPD Pro layout, I mapped our column matrices into this prop. And this is as simple as it is to get some really amazing results with a with a very basic build and a very low budget. I mean, this is really a low budget prop that you can really add a lot of pizzazz to your show. And it's as simple as getting some great programming from Pixel Pro Displays, mapping it into your show, and then showing off the fireworks with just a couple of really cool mapping effects from different props that are in our layout. And that's everything for this week, guys. Thank you for joining us for Twinkle Tips Friday. We hope you tune in absolutely every single week when we do this again. And if you come in on Tuesday nights, we have a great webinar coming up this Tuesday. So if you have questions, you can come in on our Zoom room every Tuesday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You're welcome to join us. There's no charge. Just jump in the room. Uh, enjoy the webinar. Learn something about x -Lice, Ask some great questions. Get the answers that you need to get your show up and running. And uh, that's what we do. Guys, thank you for joining me. If you like the video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't done yet, so hit the subscribe button down below. Smash it and give us a uh, give us the, hit the bell for notification as well. Don't forget that uh, these videos are here to help you guys guide you through your challenges and frustrations and uh, to help you get better with using the software, using and, uh, and getting into the hobby in general. So if you appreciate the videos that we do, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club. We always do an awesome sequence each and every month. For the past year, we've done two new songs for the month and uh, we're working on doing something else special coming up really soon. Guys, thank you for joining us. This is Clyde signing out. We'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye for now.